Mikel who gets the catch. He's got patrol. Hello, everybody. A very happy and most joyous of Tuesday evenings to you all across Fab Four territory and worldwide as we begin the 2019-2020 sports season with the Battle of the Lake. It's the White Bear Lake Bears and the Matamidi Zephyrs here from White Bear Lake Stadium. All by myself tonight, senior alumnus of the crew, graduate of White Bear Lake 2011, Alex Westad here, calling this one here tonight a matchup and a rivalry which has been close over the years between two of the top soccer programs in the entire state of Minnesota. We look at the last meeting between these two teams. It was a year ago, on August 28th in 2018. Over on the other side of the lake at Matamidi High School, it was a two to nothing victory by Matamidi as they would go on to win their second consecutive back-to-back, -back, some would call that state tournament in girls soccer and they are certainly a favor to do so again as they are currently ranked as the number one overall team in class a meanwhile on the other side the team in orange and black the white bear lake bears entered this season at number 10 overall in the preseason coaches poll and they are continuing to do so well so far this year with a record of one and one. They played two teams. They lost to a very good Centennial team here at White Bear Stadium a week ago on the 22nd. And they defeated Eastview on Saturday by a final of four to one. As the starting lineups are announced by the legendary public address announcer, Kirk Posell, you'll be hearing from him, of course, throughout the season through hockey and other sports. You see the definite Announcement of the team there. There's Kayla Anderson, our player to watch for the White Bear Lake Bears. Anderson has four of the five goals for White Bear Lake for the senior this season in two games played. And she will look to pace the White Bear Lake offense. The only other goal for White Bear Lake was scored by sophomore Lauren Eckerley. And we'll see how they are able to handle things tonight. Starting in goal for both teams, we'll start with Matamidi. In goal, it'll be number 99, Megan Lizaway, who will get the start for the Zephyrs. Lizaway has been perfect so far in two games. She has given up exactly zero goals, while her team has scored two goals in front of her. Meanwhile, on the other side, for the White Bear Lake Bears, the workhorse that is Ella Janicki will get the start for the White Bear Lake Bears. She's been the starter in goal for White Bear Lake for a number of seasons now, wearing double zero, the senior. Played last against Centennial, giving up three goals on seven shots for a save percentage of 571 in a total of 80 minutes. It is a fairly chilly night, unseasonably so. The wind is blowing left to right across your television screen as we can see the flags and other things. It had an impact. There was a boys varsity game between White Bear Lake and I believe it was Hastings before we started this game here tonight. And the wind had a significant impact on the ball. As hard, it was hard to clear at times. So we'll see what impact, if any, it has here in the second half of tonight's doubleheader, the girls game between the Zephyrs and the Bears. You see there again the temperature cloudy. It's going to drop down to 45. It did rain a little bit earlier today. I think the rain showers have held off and should continue to do so throughout the course of the night. The three officials approaching the line. Again, there are a couple of changes to girls soccer. We'll get to those as they happen later on today. Again, if this is your first girls soccer broadcast, it is two halves of 40 minutes. The clock stops on goals and the clock stops on injuries. There's also the new rule that again we will get to when it becomes relevant. And again, we want to thank you for joining us here on Suburban Community Channels tonight. However, you may be watching us or on the Suburban, Commun Suburban Community Channels YouTube channel where you can watch all of the sports anywhere at any point in time. <laughs> and it looks like we will get this one underway. Other sports happening on the upcoming sports 
calendar for White Bear Lake. Football will start their season against Anoka, the first and only, only matchup all time between White Bear Lake and Anoka. And on the Montemita side, they will host Park of Cottage Grove and the Wolfpack on Thursday as well. White Bear Lake will start with the ball. They are wearing their home orange jerseys. Looks like black socks mostly. White numbering with a black trim. And for Montemita, they are in their road whites, although I do not remember them wearing anything but the whites, even at home. So I, I could be wrong about that. Of course, I haven't called a game at Montemita in about a year's time. And the opening kick, we are underway here at White Bear Stadium. We want to thank you for joining us for this initial broadcast of our 2019 season. The Bears will have the ball immediately. Carroll will throw it up further on the far side, near side rather, looking for Anderson. As the ball will go back into the defensive zone, it can be gotten to by Erica Broughton, who will send it out of bounds. So White Bear Lake should have a throw in here on the near side. We're waiting for that extra ball. And thanks to some assistance, it'll be Eckerly, the sophomore, rather. That's Jasmine Blair, rather, excuse me. No, no, it is Eckerly. Eckerly will throw it in. Looking for Anderson in front. Taken away, a header attempt for Anderson. Goes to the back post and off of the gloves of Megan Lizaway. And she is able to get that one. One of the members of the All-State team for the Montebini Zephyrs last year, the senior Megan Lizaway, an excellent goaltender. We saw her a couple of times last season. Very strong on her angles and her positioning and should be solid for the number one ranked Montebini Zephyrs here tonight. Ball knocked into the air. They'll try to play, and before Matamita is able to get to it, it'll go over the center field flag and be picked up here on the near side by Madison Carroll. Carroll waiting to throw in. Too far for Eckerly as it goes right on the out of bounds line. And we have a whistle. And we will await play to resume. It'll be Matamita's effort ball here on the near sideline. The ball can be thrown in, intended pass, looking for Wagner, unable to connect, but the Zephyrs are able to get it back on the loose ball as Barry trying to send it up the field. Goes off of a shin pad, it should be Matamidi ball, and it is. The ball is thrown here now by Barry, looking further up ahead now for Moreau. Moreau turns it over, and a chance on offense here now for the only freshman on the White Bear Lake team. That's number 11, Jasmine Blair. And Liz away will have to come out of the goaltending crease to play. Right-footed kick high into the air. Bounces about halfway off the foot there of Wagner right at midfield. Bears trying to push the ball back into the other side of the field. Is racing to it. Bella Heckman trying to put it further ahead and able to. Matamidi gaining control in their own defensive half of the field. We'll watch the ball go out of bounds. And White Bear Lake so far here in this first minute has been very strong on the ball and with the better of the play so far. On the far side, a tackle and a flag goes up. It'll be Monomedi ball after the challenge is blown. Again, the clock counts down here. From 40 minutes, the score bug that you see there, unfortunately the clock graphic is not working tonight so we'll update you on the time remaining as frequently as we are able. Ball here on the near side looking for Audrey Sexton too far. Can be picked up here by Carroll for White Bear Lake. 36-49 remaining here in the first half. No score. Bears and Zephyrs. Here comes Sexton on the far side. She'll try to push it back into the White Bear Lake defensive zone and it'll go all the way back to the far back line. It'll be Mackenzie Turnus who let Emelet Janicki play it. Janicki will loft this one into the air, reaches center field. Now it goes off the cleats of a couple of other players. Trying to further it along was Anderson. Anderson, watch Blair get pushed down as the ball continues to be carried in. Here's Kayla Anderson. Anderson with four goals on the season for White Bear Lake. Over the senior, the right-footed kick. Kind of hit into the wind. And so White Bear Lake will have to go back to get him. Chance now, Eckerly tried to center. But the Zephyrs were strong defensively, and they're able to push that ball back. It's knocked down, kept there. Semanic. Semanic spins around the defense, trying to move it further along. A nice defensive play, though, made by the Montemidai Zephyrs. As Sexton will play. Here onto the near side, looking further along now. A chance for Moreau. Further up ahead, here's Lauren Heinch. Heinch was one of the goals last year between White Bear Lake and Montemidai. 
in their 2 to nothing victory. We talk about the last 10 matchups. Matamidai has a 6-3-1 record combined between those two schools before they did split into two classes for girls' soccer at the high school level. They were section opponents, and they did play each other in the section playoffs three times with Matamidai winning two of those three. In the last three years, however, White Bear Lake has taken two of the three matchups between the annual meeting of these two schools on the beautiful shores of White Bear Lake. As the ball can be taken in here, trying to control in the attacking half. It's intercepted, though. Moreau got it further back now, and a chance for McCleary. Onto the far side, racing to it is Michaela Stockness, the junior defender. We have a whistle now, and the ball out of play. Monomedi will regain possession, 34-41 counting. Here on a running clock in the first half and in the second half. Nice moves there. It's going to be gotten all the way back out here to center. McCleary. McCleary tries to send it further. Was looking for Heinz, but it's intercepted by Carroll. Carroll sends it off the leg of Moreau. And we'll go on to the far side where the Bears can get to it first. As Anna Racine on the far side. Racine trying to get it, but the Zephyr is able to clear it back out. It'll go off of a couple of players before back into the defensive half of Matamidai. Of a throw in on the far side now as the Zephyrs will look to throw the ball in. Onto the far side. We look further back for the defense of a couple of players. Substitutions are announced here as well. It's not an on the fly substitution system as no soccer is. And now Matamidai will get the throw in. He'll send it back right about midfield. As it can be gotten here now to McCleary. McCleary looking for Moreau here on the near side. Moreau further along looking for Anna Wagner. Wagner trying to get around the defense, unable to do so. And Sam Burkett will watch this one go out of bounds for a goal kick for the White Bear Lake Bears. 33 minutes and counting. As now you see, oh yeah, there it is, our scoreboard is now working once again. Sun has started to come out as the sun sets to the okay, west here. White Bear Lake moving from right to left. Matamidai moving from left to right. Ball high into the air. Goes off of Blair on the kick by Barry. And Matamidai gets a throw in here on the near sideline. Barry lofting throwing off the head of Carroll. Can be gotten further along now, over the foot of Wagner, out of bounds, and a White Bear Lake ball upcoming. Here's Carroll. Carroll trying to get it further along as they played catch with Jasmine Blair, and another Matamidi throwing coming in. Looking for Wagner on the throw. Defended well by Carroll. Burkett back for assistance, and they'll kick it out of bounds as these efforts continue to work their way up the field into the White Bear Lake half. As a throw in now by Barry. Goes out of bounds once again, and another throw in upcoming. Barry. Moreau. Wagner. And looking to feed Heinch in the middle, but Burkett clears it back out to the midfield. There's a ball headed high into the air. The race to the outside. Racine trying to play some defense there on the far side with Michaela Stockness of the Zephyrs. And they'll get a throw in for White Bear Lake on that far side off of a Zephyr. Trying to clear it back through center. Anderson here onto the near side now, where Samanic has the chance to play, but turns it over. Where Moreau will send it further for Heinch. Heinch further there now for Sexton. As the ball go right on the out of bounds line before wisely Wagner is able to send it right into the feet of Blair and another throw in for the Zephyrs. The throw in for Turnus. Further along now. Carroll playing defense. The flag is up, and there should be a White Bear Lake ball. 31-11 remaining. Huh? No score. Bears and Zephyrs. We'll be back here Thursday night as White Bear Lake boys football gets their season started against the Anoka Tornadoes. And a kick from Carroll right up the line. Eckerly tried to head it further along. A nice takeaway there by Lauren, the sophomore. Eckerly, nice lead pass onside. On the far side now, a run for Racine along the wing. Racine's shot goes wide of the net, and we'll have a goal kick up coming here for Matamidai. Nice little run there 
by Racine, and it started off of the turnover that Lauren Eckerley was able to force as she took a the ball right away from the defender. It'll be a goal kick for Matamida. Lizaway tens, at least from the games that I remember calling of Matamida girls soccer so far. Lizaway tends not to take that, and I'm not sure if that is a coaching decision by varsity head coach Dave Waldo, the Matamida Zephyrs. But it does keep the goaltender in the crease, keeps the goaltender centered. Long pass under the far side, rolls out of bounds. Berkeley played further now here for White Bear Lake as they'll try to throw it in. Trying to clear, playing with the wind, wind blowing left to right here. If they can take advantage, Wagner trying to keep the ball away from Carroll is able to do so. We'll have another throw in for Matamidai. Right about midfield, we have a whistle and the first substitutions of the night. Again, the rule change now that substitutions are happening is that when inside of 10 minutes, I believe, that normally the clock would continue to run and substitutions would, before that, before this year, substitutions would wind the clock down significantly. Now the clock stops on substitutions inside of 10 minutes. Of course, if I am wrong about that, feel free to tweet at me at AlexSCCTV. Or follow me, too, for all things SCC Sports. Is the ball taken away here? We'll try to clear it up on the far sideline. Some nice footwork there by the Zephyrs as Audrey Berry is able to play it further along. It's cleared out now by Carroll back to center, looking for Anderson, but the ball intercepted by Matamirai, and they'll send it back into the attacking half as the ball goes out of bounds. Nice play by Marin Schoberl to keep that outside. So the throw in now it's picked up here by White Bear Lake. Nice with some speed here is Anna Racine. Racine trying to push it further ahead, but it's intercepted by Matamita and back out to center. Back now, Burkett with a header. Followed up again by Turnus, trying to move the right foot into the corner. We'll try to take it. Turnus unable to clear. Chance for the Zephyrs. Saxon on the far side. Turned it over. Now here's Turnus. Turnus with a nice stutter step. Able to slow it down, looking for an opening. Anderson to the ball. Anderson forced off the ball. So they can try to tie up here now. Matamidai will have it in the attacking third. Nice stand-up check there. Stern is able to get it further now for Eckerly. Eckerly into the attacking half for White Bear Lake. Can be picked up now, and it's sent in further by Megan Sule. One of the substitutions for White Bear Lake, the senior, just fresh into the game. Lizaway. We'll take the kick well over the midfield line. It's headed into the air. We'll try to play it further along and keep things going. As the ball goes back into the attacking half. Not high into the air, and this time the ball will go into the possession of Matamidai. We'll take it on the far side before watching it roll out of bounds. Or will be a throw-in upcoming for White Bear Lake. Here's Anderson. Try to move it along, it'll go all the way past the, I don't want to say skates, but the feet of the back line. Goes all the way to the Janicki, where she will try to send it out of bounds almost over the stands. Oh, there it is. There it goes over the stands on the other side. Somebody will have to go and get that one, unfortunately. And it'll be a throw-in from Matamidai from the far corner. The throw-in can be gotten there by Audrey Barry. Barry. Further for Heinch. Heinch, one of the top midfielders here for the Matamidai Zephyrs. This ball goes a little bit too far. Hit off. The flag still in play. We'll try to center in front, looking for Barry. Could not quite do so. Zephyrs will try to hold the ball in, but Matamidai unable to do so. So Bears force him back out temporarily. Ball's onto the far side. We've gotten further, a takedown and a whistle as Sule tripped the feet up, and that'll be advantage in favor on that tackle attempt. And so Matamidai will get a free kick. 25 minutes and counting remaining here in this opening half. No score, Bears and Zephyrs. My name is Alex Westad, bringing you this game exclusively on Suburban Community Channels TV 19. And of course, if you do get the chance, come on out, support these ladies and support these student athletes. Ball in front, knocked away by Perkett. 
as the Zephyrs will try to hold the zone. It was a dominating first couple of minutes for White Bear Lake, but the Zephyrs have proven their run of form true once again. And so far, in the last couple of minutes, have really put some pressure on in the attacking half. Ball out of bounds. It'll be Matamidai Ball. We'll have another couple of Zephyr substitutions as two uh, will come on and two will switch out. We'll have a throw in from the far sideline. This ball knocked further and a chance taken down in the box. No arm goes up of the official, though. A clean tackle has been ruled. We'll have a throw in as the Zephyrs continue to march closer and closer to that goal line. From the far sideline. Ball's thrown in, headed away. A chance now as Kayla Anderson has to come down to play it. Anderson. Pass looking on the far side for Racine. She decides to hold Eckerly. Give and go with Anderson. Anderson taken down. We have a whistle and advantage White Bear Lake. One of the hallmarks of this rivalry, no matter the sport, although they don't play in football and they don't play in hockey, both of which are a shame, is that it can get familiar or can get a little chippy due to the familiarity of the students and the people who share the lake from time to time. So here's Ackerley to take the free kick. Shot will go wide to the left as they'll try to get to it first. Goes out of bounds. And it'll be Matamidai balls. There'll be a throw coming here from the corner. Not, well, not from the corner corner, but from near the corner. As so we'll have a throw in here from Matamidai. They'll work up the sideline. A nice header play made there by Samanic. Samanic turned it over. As Barry will take it back into the attacking third for Matamidai. Barry. Working and slows down. Looking for an opportunity. Janicki able to make the stop there. Not quite a shot, but still an attempted move on goal. Now Janicki put the ball. Trying to clear it back out. Eckerly trying to play it further, but Matamidai regains possession here on the near side. Ball comes to Annabelle Hillstrom, the freshman. The only freshman on the Matamirai roster. We have a whistle. And it'll be advantage Matamirai after that tackle. Ruled to be unfair. And so the free kick will be about 20, no, 30 yards out. It'll be Audrey Sexton to take it. Sexton. Kicks it lower, looking for Barry. Nice save, Janicki. A good chance there. Off the foot of Barry and Sexton on the free kick. That time they score. Zephyrs on the scoreboard first. No. Yes, yes, it is Zephyr's goal. And we'll have a stoppage in play on the Zephyr goal coming here at the, we're going to do math, 18-minute mark. It was a nice save by Janicki, and then just, ooh, that's a tap in and a gimme and a half. As you see, Barry, who scores that one for Matamidai, giving them the one to nothing lead. It's Jolie Barry who gets the goal. Who scored in the 18th minute for Matamidai. And that gives them the one to nothing lead. They say Audrey Berry scored. I'm not sure, though, no, considering that it was number seven that put the ball in, not number two. I thought it was number seven that kicked the ball in, but I could be wrong. It looked like seven was on the monitor. I'm not sure myself. Anyway, play continues with Matamirai holding the one to nothing lead about halfway through this first half of play. We'll get a chance to take a look at that one again at the half as we will look at the highlights. But either way, Matamidi leads by a score of one to nothing. And the Zephyr parents cheer excellently. Zephyrs will get the throw in here. Goes under the far side, they'll move it further along. Another throw in coming here from Matamidi. As will be Padelford, Laney Padelford, the junior, who will make the throw in. Trying to throw it in, and they'll continue to work their way up the field. But this time, White Bear Lake will get the throw on onto the far side. No, it will be, yes, yeah, okay, yes, it will be White Bear Lake. 
Longtime viewers of Suburban Community Channels will know that soccer is not my strongest of games. Those strengths come to come, tend to come with football and hockey and baseball as well. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of that, but that's a long ways away from now. As the Zephyrs will play the ball here, Abby Grabo onto the near side here. Now Hillstrom. Hillstrom tried to work the ball in further, but Carroll knocks it out of bounds. We'll have another throw in here. As it'll be Tybal to throw in for Matamidai. Ball into the air, trying to get to it first with Sexton before it's cleared out by Carroll. And goes off of her foot and out of bounds. It'll be another Zephyr throwing up coming. So here's Tybal. Throwing the ball in, looking for Sexton again. It'll go out of bounds. Some nice defense, defensive play made there by Sam Burkett. As the ball will go out of bounds for a goal kick. For pan uh, not for panic, excuse me, Ella Janicki. This is Janicki's right footed kick. It's a line drive. It does catch that air a little bit. Looked like the players were fooled by a little bit as the ball goes out of bounds. Charlie Adam, the junior, trying to make the play. Miss Carroll will play it here on the near sideline, right about the uh, midfield mark. Carroll's throw in, looking for. Adam on the far, on the near side. Can be taken here now by Anderson. Anderson working her way in. Trying to move around the defense, but it is strong for Matamidai. Behind the back pass attempted. It's cleared out by Matamidai before it goes right back in. Off the head on the far side of Wadsberger. And it'll go out of bounds for a White Bear Lake throw. We have a whistle. And we should have another couple of substitutions here for White Bear Lake as two players will come on, two players will go off. As you see them there, excellent camera work, folks. We'll have a throw in coming up here on the far side for White Bear Lake. And immediately they'll have another opportunity at it. Inside the 1853 mark, one to nothing. Monomirai Zephyr's goal. I thought it was Jolie Berry who scored, but it was Audrey Berry. We'll take another look at that just to confirm as one of the parents said it was two, not seven that scored. And now a chance here for White Bear Lake as they'll enter the attacking half. Ooh, a centering pass attempted, a lead pass rather. It's intercepted though by Matamita as they'll send it back out. Trying to clear out of their defensive third. Nice defensive play there made by Matamita as the Bears tried to knock it away. As we'll go back on the far sideline, the Zephyrs will send it out intentionally or otherwise, and the Bears will get a throw in on their own side, on the far sideline. Pass looking for Anderson. Anderson trying to get it further for Racine. Racine from a sharp angle, and a nice save by Lizaway, able to stretch out and get that one, cutting across the crease in order to cut off that pass as the ball can be taken away by Eckerly on a lazy pass from the Zephyrs. On to the far side, Racine trying to get it around the defense of Matamidai. Racine will cut back for Eckerly. Eckerly looks like it hit something. It'll be a corner kick opportunity upcoming here for White Bear Lake. This is the first corner of the game for either team. We'll see how the Bears choose to work this set piece. It's going into the corner to take the corner okay. kick. That will be number six, Bella Heckman. Heckman. The senior, one of many seniors on this White Bear Lake team. It's Heckman's kick. Right in front of the crease, intercepted. They try to put it on goal, but unable to do so as the Zephyrs are strong defensively. The Zephyr fans want a push called on Mackenzie Turnus. I thought that they should have had one. It looked like a pretty clear push to me. As the Zephyrs will take advantage now, they'll try to start a rush through center. Onto the far side. Right across the big bay bear paw. A nice tackle made there by Heckman. Onto the near side now. So will try to play it further along now. Charlie Adam. Adam trying to work around the defense of Tyvel. Centering chance in front. It's cleared back out off to Eckerly. Eckerly will try to keep it deep in the attacking zone for White Bear Lake. A shot on. Missed wide by the foot of Adam. And it will go out of bounds. As unsuccessful on the first corner attempt of the game is White Bear Lake. Taking the 
goal kick will be Erica Broten. I know that I've called a number of games with the Broten family in it. I think it was Tommy Broten. I always said Broughton. I guess that's just due to the Minnesota association with Neil Broughton. So apologies to the Broughton family, all the, all the years that we've called games for them. As Broughton's kick will go right across midfield, can be bounced further along. Now as Fettinger will send it further in. Also will try to hold the midfield line. And to the near side, working further along now, it's Audrey Berry. Watches it go back now where Burkett will play it on the back line for the White Bear Lake Bears. Heckman, right at center, trying to push it further along. Too far, looking for Eckerly. And now it will be sent further in by Turnus. Liz away will come well out of her box to try to challenge it. A dangerous chance, but it goes out back through into the neutral area. Taken further away now, Wagner trying to push it further. Carroll will try to clear it back out. This time is able to get some air under it and sends it further along now. Racine loses the ball to Wagner for Matamidi. As Wagner gets further along here now on the near side for Moreau. Moreau for Wagner again, right in the center. Trying to move it further along. A nice play by Heckman though to push that ball back out a little bit. Pinching down back on the far side, Anna Racine. Racine, we've seen some speed. A bit physical play there by Racine. We'll get a whistle. It'll be possession, possession in advantage of Matamidi. They'll leave the ball there. 14-30 and counting. One to nothing. Your score. Jolie Berry, the goal scorer for the Matamidi Zephyrs, although some Zephyr parents think that it was Audrey. I thought it was seven, not two. Again, we'll take a look at that as the ball goes out of bounds. We'll have more substitutions. One aside for the Zephyrs and the Bears as it'll be a goal kick up coming here for Janicki. Other games coming up. The next two opponents from Matamidi, they'll travel to Creighton Durham Hall upcoming on Thursday. And White Bear Lake girls soccer will be at Lakeville South in the Cougars. That game coming up on Thursday as well. As the ball can be fought for there. Barry trips up. The defense there of Turnus. And it'll be a chance now for the Bears. Turnus for Burkett. Burkett trying to work into the middle of the field. Leaves it further along now for Schoberl. He's carrying it through now, Heckman. Heckman pass further up along, looking for more. Nicole Moore on the far side. It can be gotten to here now, and a chance for Baron Schoberl. Schoberl. Try to get it for more again. Then goes back laterally to Heckman. So here's Audrey Berry now. Berry, pass intercepted by Schoberl. It's cleared out to the near sideline where Moreau will have a chance to play for it. Moreau, some fancy footwork there to move the ball further along. Trying to get around. Knocked down on a nice defensive play by Fettinger. Trying to send the ball in front. Eckerley. Eckerley, a couple of head plays. We got here now Turnus. Eckerly knocked down. We'll have advantage of White Bear Lake on the whistle. 12.38 remaining here in this one. Or in the opening half, rather. As Burkett will give way for Carroll to take the free kick. Carroll's right for the kick. Goes into the air. And over. The head of Eckerley was McCleary, and it was ruled unfair, and so we'll have another whistle. So here's Turnus who will play on the free kick. Turnus, a line drive right into the heart of the Matamidi defense. We've gotten further along, a chance now where the Zephyrs will clear it back into their side of the attacking here. Third, back to get it, Sam Burkett. Burkett will watch it go out of the goal line, and it'll be a goal kick up coming again here for the White Bear Lake senior netminder, Ella Janicki. For goal kicks so far, it's been three to two in favor of White Bear Lake. We'll have another substitution as Barry will be replaced, Jolie Barry rather, will be replaced by Lauren Heinch. Janicki's kick, Marolt able to intercept. Burkett now. Burkett into the air. Eckerley. 
Further along as we'll try to clear back out. Manamidai able to get to it first. Fancy footwork again as the ball taken away by Heckman. Heckman working across the center line. Can be gotten to here now and a chance on a nice tip play by Adam. However, the offense not quite on the same page. Heckman back for Turnus. Turnus looking for Anderson. Intercepted and knocked away by Manamidai again. First to it, Grabo. Oh, and some physical play there as Grabo and Eckerly tangle up. They'll be ruled a free kick for White Bear Lake. So here's Eckerly who will take the free kick. The sophomore, who was a student of mine last year, liked to give me a hard time from time to time as he shot on the free kick, saved by Liz away. And she'll take it back out to play. You know, it's odd. I guess for me, having taught many of these kids for the first year, not being a teacher in the district, it's still odd to see how many of the friends and faces still recognize you. So we'll have a whistle here. And a stoppage and a substitution for Matamita. But to continue that point, it's weird to see how many of the students will still recognize you, still say hi. Some fans of SCC Sports know that I work as an usher with the Minnesota Twins too and the amount of students in White Bear Lake and other places that come up and say hello it's always makes the education profession rewarding and we certain hope, certainly hope that if you're an educator and you're watching this tonight we hope your teacher development week is going strong that you're ready to welcome students in on Tuesday as the ball goes in knocked off the foot briefly of Saxon this will go out of bounds and a throw in coming here for White Bear Lake Fettinger for Eckerley turns it over on a bouncing ball, McCleary. Let's try to get it further along here. Now Grable will have to cut back. Grable working here on the near side as the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be a free kick, uh, throw in here coming for White Bear Lake. Again, the orange line that you see there on the field, that is the out of bounds line for soccer. Ball goes high into the air off of the head of Padelford, the junior defender for Matamidai. We'll have a throw-in coming here, a whistle on another pair of substitutions upcoming for White Bear Lake here inside of nine minutes remaining. One to nothing the score. The only goal came for Matamidai off of the foot of Jolie Berry, the, well, I suppose that would make sense. If it's Audrey Berry, the forward, it would make sense that the forward got the goal, not the defenseman. But that's the only goal so far for either team. As the two teams do the battle for the lake as they do so many times over the course of a year. This ball cleared back out of harm's way. It's ruled a White Bear Lake ball. And they'll have a throw in here on the near side. As Eckerley will get the throw in. Standing from a tough angle, she'll throw it in. Looking for Anderson, Anderson's header. Unsuccessful as the ball's still in a dangerous area. Bears. A couple of them get knocked down. Heist with a nice defensive play, but quickly getting to the ball. A nice play is Chloe Semanic. Semanic tripped up and slow to get up. It appears she may have rolled the ankle a little bit on that play. Still slow to get up is Semanic. Have a timeout and a stoppage as Semanic will Head to the sideline to take a look at, or be looked at by the trainer. Heckman will come in to replace. And the regular trainer for White Bear Lake is Christy Lammers. Looks like it is the other gentleman tonight. I've, I've worked with him so many times, I'm afraid I don't know what his name is, unfortunately. Otherwise, we'd give him a shout out. And it'll be a free kick coming up here for White Bear Lake with 7.36 remaining here. One to nothing to score. Matamidai leading over White Bear Lake here on what's become a beautiful fall, late fall-esque night here in beautiful White Bear Lake. Eckerly on the free kick. Right footed kick. High into the air. Looking to go on goal. Is Zowie off the top of the net and will fall to a rest there. And Eckerley has quite the leg, but the ball in that case just went a little too strong and it went over the net. So the free kick up coming here, the goal kick rather for Matamita. I'll be taken here by Erica Broughton. Broughton, the right footed kick into the center of the field. It goes a little bit further along now. Can be played here by Moralt looking further for Heinch. Heinch has a go off the leg of Turnus before it can go back well into the White Bear Lake defensive zone as Janicki will play it in her own goal crease. 
Zvenki looking, looking to slow things down, waiting for the White Bear Lake attack to set up. Knocked into the air over the person of Turnus. Turnus looking middle of the field for Heckman. We'll get it back to Turnus. Merle applying some pressure, turns it over for Heinch. Heinch looking to get the ball further for Wagner. Wagner takes it away. Wagner trying to work around Burkett. We'll send it back in front. No look shot and a good one. There, I believe that was Heinch in front, made a no-look shot, but Janicki with the strong positioning to turn that one away. So here's Turnus. Again, off of Heinch. So turn it around, the defense played strong there as McCleary will have it go out of bounds, and McCleary will have it again. She'll turn it, though, and she'll let Jolie Berry have a chance. Berry looking for Heinch. Heinz trying to cut back, trying to keep the ball alive, goes out of bounds, and an, another Matamidi throw and upcoming here. Barry throwing it back in. Have we gotten further to the by the Bears, where Burkett will send it back out. We'll have a chance to reset. Moreau will throw it in for Heinz. Moreau will get it back. Chance there as they'll go off of Turnus. It'll go out of bounds across the goal line. I believe we'll have a corner kick. It will be a corner kick. It will be the first corner Corey, kick opportunity for the Zephyrs tonight. Now each team with one corner. Three to two, the goal kick advantage. And it will be Abby Grabo to take it for Matamidi. Right-footed kick into the air past everybody. Can we get into, though, by Matamidi? Nice kick. They're just a little bit too strong off the foot of McCleary. It goes through the uprights. Now have a goal kick here coming for White Bear Lake. Their fourth of this first half. Goal kick for White Bear Lake. So here's Janicki. Waiting to knock this one away. 440 and counting remaining here in this first half. One to nothing to score. Monomedi over White Bear Lake. The goal by Jolie Berry in the 18th minute. The icebreaker here tonight. Heinz, nice lead ball. Looking for Wagner, but a nice play made by Janicki to cut out and get that ball. Janicki right footed kick into the air as the Bears will try to hurry in here inside of five minutes. Can be gotten to now by Heckman. Heckman, long pass, looking on the far sideline, further up ahead for Nicole Moore. Goes out of bounds right by the Matamidi bench, and the Zephyrs will have a throw in. Looking to play further along, goes back out of bounds. Another throw in here. The ball will get thrown in further along now. White Bear Lake can take possession. We'll try to get to it. Heckman pushed it back. So we'll try to clear it back out. Ooh, dangerous looking play there. So we'll have a flag that goes up. It'll be a throw in upcoming here. Some substitutions coming for Monomirai. I think we'll have a throw. Oh, we'll be a White Bear Lake throw. Okay. So a throw on up coming here for Nicole Moore. Moore looking under the far side, looking for Anderson. Anderson has the ball go out of harm's way. There'll be another throw on coming for White Bear Lake. Moore to take it again for the Bears. Here's Moore. Moore's throwing. Knocked out of the way by the Zephyrs. We'll go back out again, and another throw and upcoming here. Three minutes remaining, opening half. Moore, another time, looking for Anderson. This time Anderson gets it in the air with the head. They're trying to cut back, trying to play with through it. Now Jasmine Blair, the freshman, showing some strength. This will go out, and it'll be another. Ooh, they don't like that. It'll be a White Bear Lake throw and upcoming here. As Eckerley will play it on this side. Eckerling throwing it in. Chance, Anderson tripped up. A nice challenge there, there by Sule. Sule trying to send the ball on. It'll go wide to the right. It'll be a goal kick up coming. And it'll be Broughton to take it. Should the score not change in the last two minutes, it'll be a shutout streak of five halves for the senior goaltender, Megan Lizaway for the Monomedi Zephyrs. Here's Heinch. Cutting it back, looking to gain some speed. Has the opportunity on the far wing, sees it, she'll take advantage. 
as the Zephyrs will play it there on the far side. Looking to play, moving along. Heinch. Heinch doing battle with Carroll. Carroll wins that one for the Bears. As it's sent back out through to the center field. Further along now, we'll try and keep play going. We have thrown coming up here for White Bear Lake. It is a hard stop at the 40 minute mark as well. Here's Heckman. Back for Carroll. We'll send it further along now, looking for Turnus, but it's knocked away here by Broughton. Headers played. Broughton. Back for Eckerley now. <laughs> Another header here. Further along now, or can be gotten to here by Hanking. Before the Bears take it away again. Last chance here inside a minute remaining. Is that Sule who is trying to get the ball further? You get the announcement of one minute remaining in the opening half. Eckerley. Trying to get around the defense. Good defense at that. Audrey Sexton showing some experience. Sule. Trying to cut it back further. Goes off of a couple of shin pads after Anderson. Broughton will clear it back out. Over the head of Carroll. In the back defense of Burkett. Burkett looking for Carroll. Has it go further to Heckman. Heckman. Further along now for Anderson. Anderson further ahead. As well as accurately rather, excuse me. Carroll. For Broughton. Trying to get further along now. Here, McCleary. Onto the far side. A little bit too strong. And the force play made there as Schober will send the watch the ball go out of bounds inside six, five seconds remaining. One last chance for the Bears. Should they choose to take it, it'll roll right along the line. And that's how this will wrap up for the opening half of play. With the Zephyrs scoring the only goal. It was a goal that came at the 18th mini minute, <laughs> rather, excuse me for number two, the sophomore Audrey Berry off of a nice chance in front. And that is how we have our one to nothing lead for Matamidai. Corner kicks in the first half. There was one for Matamidai, one for White Bear Lake. And goal kicks, I did stop keeping track at one point. I believe it was five for four White Bear Lake. And we'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second half. This is your home for White Bear Lake and Montebina Girls Soccer here on SEC Sports. Since the moment you were born, I've made a thousand wishes. Wishes for your future in a world that's changing fast. For all of the things you may one day do, do play and laugh. So do win and lose. Do learn from your mistakes. And challenge yourself to grow. Do not be afraid. Or make decisions based in fear. Do it all with confidence and with kindness and strength. Do call your mom and ask her for advice. And oh, always do your best to remember that no matter what you do in this life, Thank you. what matters to me is that you keep doing it. I love you always, Mom. Dad, they took over my bedroom. Come on, come on. Okay, Dad. One, two, three. Ah! Dad! You saved me. <sighs> Dad? Are you okay? I'm fine, dear. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. Vision loss is not something that you feel until it happens. Most people lose their vision from diseases like macular degeneration and glaucoma. 
not at birth. Three million Americans have glaucoma, and half don't even know it. 11 million people in the United States have macular degeneration. So many eye disorders can be treated if caught early. Make a plan today to get your eyes checked. Visit brightfocus.org to learn more. Back here, start of the second half, Matamirai 1, White Bear Lake 0 in the Battle of the Lake here on Girls Soccer as the start of the second half. Only one goal, goal was scored, as you saw, back in the first half. came at the 18th minute. It was off of the foot of one of the Barry sisters. I thought it was Jolie because I thought I saw seven. We'll get a better look at it here. You see there, there's Audrey, a shot on a nice save by Janicki. And then you see the Bears try to clear it out, but Lauren Heinz able to just keep that ball right on the line, send it right back in front, and you know what? It is Audrey. Audrey Berry did get the goal, the sophomore for the Matamidai Zephyrs. We don't have current statistics as Matamidai does not keep theirs on MN Soccer Hub. However, a season ago for the Zephyrs, in only four games for Audrey, she scored one goal, so she has already equaled her output for a season here in just one game. Matamira will start. We will start here. As again, you see the last 10 games, Matamira has held the advantage 6-3-1 to three to one in those games. However, White Bear Lake has won two of the last three. However, Matamira currently well on their way to winning back-to-back -back years between these two teams. White Bear Lake will carry the ball into their side of the attacking half. Onto the far side, Turnus watches it go further as she was looking for, I believe that was Blair on the far sideline. And the throw in will come here from Matamita as the two teams switch sides. Matamita this half moving from right to left across your screen. And the White Bear Lake Bears moving from left to right. This ball can be taken there now by Samanic. Samanic, whose ankle appears to be okay and she rolled it in the late stages of that half. I would like to correct myself earlier. It was clarified that the stop time on substitutions is only in the second half. So I would like to thank PA announcer Kirk Posell for correcting me on that. As he announces a corner kick. And I would also like to thank Brad Johnson of the Bloomington Jefferson, I believe it's Bloomington Jefferson girls soccer for giving me that information originally, a rule change that I feel makes the game better as it means that teams cannot just substitute the clock away. I'll have a free kick for Matamidai coming here on their own side of the field. Don't have a straight shot at the number, but I believe that is Broughton. It is Broughton who will clear the back the wall back in through to the middle of the field. Coming further, a whistle, and it'll be another free kick up coming here for Matamirai. As we will await the free kick. Again, the next two games for these two teams, Matamirai will face off at the Cretan Durham Hall Raiders on Thursday the 29th. And for the White Bear Lake Bears girls, it'll be Lakeville South as they will travel down to play the Cougars on the 29th as well. As the ball goes back onto the far side, we have a whistle, and there will be advantage and a free kick for Matamirai. As they look to add to their lead, they've won all of their games, I guess both of their games so far this season, by a score of two to nothing. Now there's a conversation between the official and the young woman on the ball. But that is Kaya Lifto who sends the ball in. Burkett has a go off of her foot. It'll bounce a couple of Yards over, and it'll be a corner kick upcoming here for Matamita. It's their first of the second half, second of the game. And we'll see how they choose to operate the set piece. Be Sexton on the far side. She'll try to clear it in. That's headed out of harm's way by White Bear Lake. As both teams are unsuccessful on corner kick opportunities here so far. As the ball can be thrown in, Moreau. Trying to clear further for Sexton. Nice stand-up play there. The ball still in the possession of Matamidai before now Wiper Lake able to clear it back out. Here's Broughton pitching down. Looking further for Wagner here on the near sideline. Wagner first to the ball for Matamidai. Wagner, nice touch pass. Try to get McCormick in front. 
McCormick tangles up right on the goal line. It will be a goal kick for White Bear Lake, and Janicki will take it. White Bear Lake unofficially, of course, had five goal kicks in the first half. Manamidai had four, again, very unofficially. We do not have a statistician at SCC Sports, but we do try our best. As the ball leaks back through the center of the pitch, Anderson trying to get to it, but the Zephyrs, quick as always, are there to it. McCormick. McCormick with some options further ahead for Wagner. Wagner along the left side. Trying to clear it in front, goes off of the foot of Schoberl. It will be another corner kick for the Zephyrs. 0 for 2 so far. This will be an interest, interesting play. You don't normally see the touch pass like that on the corner kick. And so I guess it'll make it 0 for 3 on the corner kick for Manamirai. But perhaps, maybe they knew something we didn't. As the ball will go back and will be Janicki who gets to play it here for White Bear Lake. As the Bears look really strong in the first eight minutes or so of this one. But then Manamirai continuing to prove why they are the best team in the state on the Class A side. You can make the argument as well out of all the teams. They have continued to assert their dominance pretty strongly at times. It's well turned over. So Bears trying to clear the zone out. Wagner causes a foul. Be a free kick for White Bear Lake. Carroll sends it right off of the shin pad of the defender. A little bit further now, it's in intercepted by Heinz. That's not Heinz, rather. That's McCleary, excuse me. The balls can be carried back out by Semanic. Semanic trying to move the ball further along. Got just a little bit under it. So we'll try to tie up where the Bears try to move the ball along. Broughton kick into the wind. You see it just hit that wind and then just drop straight down. Strong wind across from left to right here. Turnus pushing further along now. She'll get it back. Feeds the far way. So try to move it along. Eckerly, nice touch pass. As Racine tries to move in, this ball goes out of bounds. Will be a ball in possession of Matamira. As they'll get a throw in under that far side, it'll be Jolie Barry to do the throw in. Barry's throwing. Wagner trying to get to it. That's Moreau, rather. Moreau will send it further along. Can be played by Carroll. Carroll for Anderson. Broton heads it into the air. Try to hold on here. Clearing attempt in front. Too strong. Looking for Anderson. This ball will go all the way out. It'll be a goal kick upcoming for the Matamina Zephyrs, who had four in the opening half. This is their first here of the second. It'll be Broton to take it for the Zephyrs. For the junior defender. Broughton's right-footed kick. Knocked down. Plays a couple of hops. Goes over the foot of McCleary. As the Bears will try to hold the ball. Anderson. Anderson trying to work around. A shot. Nice save and a goal! Kayla Anderson. We're tied at one. Well, first, what looked like kind of a harmless shot. I thought Lizaway had a clear chance at it, but it did fool the goaltender just enough. But you see Kayla Anderson with her fifth goal on the year for White Bear Lake. Just a nice pullback move there. Got through the defense, and then I think that must have hit off one of the Zephyr defenders, and Lizaway unable to get to it. And Anderson's goal in the 48th minute ties the game up at one. That's a chance that the White Bear Lake Bears happy to have. As the ball will be brought back into play where Matamita will look to respond. Here's Sexton. Sexton will move the ball back further as it can be gotten to here by Stockness. They'll send her it back into the middle of the pitch where can Hanke can move further along now looking for Moreau. Trying to move it there now, Sexton. Looking for Moreau, has Moreau streaking on the far sideline. Taken away, though, by Turnus. 
Coming back to that ball. Turn is for Eckerley. Further along now and a nice positional awareness there by Charlie Adam into the game onto the far side. Ball's tied up, goes out of bounds. And the, the Matamidai Zephyrs will have a throw in. It's the first goal that Lizaway has allowed this season. And if we were to look back to 2018, 2019 as well, she was very strong again, only giving up 15 goals in 19 regular season games in which Lizaway appeared. So one of the best goaltenders in the state, averaging less than a goal a game, has conceded one here. And I guess when we look back to the White Bear Lake Matamidi, the last time that Matamidi had conceded a goal came two years ago on the 29th of August here at White Bear Stadium in a one to nothing final. I believe that was a Claire Odemark goal, but I would have to look back at the tape to remember that myself. White Bear Lake with the ball in the attack in their own defensive part of the field. It's Burkett under the far sideline. Trying to play it further, looking for Semanic. The ball will go into the center where it can be moved further along, but the Zephyr is able to intercept a pass here onto the near side. Further along, nice play looking for Wagner, but Showbrill strong defensively, able to get to it. Carroll will send it further back out. Goes off of the foot of Broton. It'll be a throw up coming here for White Bear Lake. Looking for Anderson. Anderson, who's able to sneak behind the defense. Broughton on a nice back check. Gives the defense time to catch up. And a throw in coming here on the near side as it'll be Racine to throw. Racine, however, will give way for Eckerly. And she'll throw in. Eckerly trying to throw it in. Nice header, another nice chance. But this time, this one will go over the goal line. Another goal kick up coming here for Matamidi. Broughton will line up to take the goal kick once again. Other sports upcoming here for the Matamidi Zephyrs. Boys soccer will face off against Harding. They have a lot of time off as they won't play again until the fourth. Volleyball, volleyball not Volleyball, Volleyball will host Irondale on the 3rd of September. And girls soccer again will play Creighton Durham Hall at Creighton Durham Hall on the 29th. We have a whistle as a bear was taken down. Again, that was Anderson who was taken down. And with Anderson being the team's leading goal scorer with five goals on the season now, I can see and understand fully why they might have to try some things from time to time to slow her down. As a senior, certainly leaving her mark on White Bear Lake girls soccer. As Eckerley looked to take the shot, this time she'll switch places with Anderson. As Eckerley has had a couple of chances on net. We'll see if Anderson can put one away. Anderson's right foot a kick, line drive, Liz away, easy save, as that should have been. And Liz away was able to get there on the shot on goal. Runner back the other way, as we'll try to play it here now, as Stockness will have to cut back. Here's Broughton for Stockness again. Stockness looking for the center of the pitch further along as McCleary was able to send it back through center. Sexton now, right in the center. She'll go back into the far sideline for Moreau. Moreau pass looking for Heinch on the far sideline. It can be taken away now by Sam Burkett for the Bears. Burkett turns it over, McCleary. Back for Moreau. Moreau, nice move to fake out Burkett. Pass looking for Sexton. Sexton will have to slow down. Get under the near side, McCormick. McCormick looking for Wagner. Wagner with a move and shoots it wide to the left. Real nice piece work there for Matamida as they were able to Slice right through this White Bear Lake defense. And a good opportunity there for Wagner. However, the foot wide inside 28 minutes to go. Tied at one. Audrey, Audrey Berry scored at the 18th minute for Matamida in the first half. And it was Kayla Anderson who scored in the 48th minute of this game to even it up at one goal apiece. Sexton turns it over. Turn is trying to get through there, but she's beaten to the ball briefly by Hillstrom, who turned it back over. It's sent back into the defensive half of White Bear Lake. Goes further along now. This ball will bounce. It can be played by Lizaway. 
And she'll get to it first for Manamira. Ball on the ground. It's McCleary. Further along and knocked down there. A throw up coming for White Bear Lake. As the ball goes back, Hankey will watch it go out of bounds. And we will have a corner kick here for White Bear Lake. This is their first corner of the second half, second of the game overall. It'll be Eckerly to take it, the sophomore. Both teams unsuccessful on corners so far. We'll see what happens. Eckerle hand in the air. The right footed kick. Arcing a little bit. Trying to go back post. Back into the air. Can they clear it out? No! Oh, over the net. Back into play. And a good job of the goaltender, Megan Lizaway, to smother the ball and take away that opportunity for White Bear Lake. A dangerous opportunity too as the ball could bouncing high into the air. Difficult to corral, but a nice job by Lizaway to hold on to that one. Far sideline. White Bear Lake trying to play it again. The ball can be thrown in well over everybody as the throw was looking for Blair. Goes out of bounds. We'll have another goal kick up coming. We're going to have some substitutions now. As two Zephyrs will come in. 25 minutes in galley remaining here. One to one your score. My name is Alex Westad joining you. As we will do many times throughout this 1920 school year on Suburban Community Channels. You may see us other places as well as we do tend to share our broadcasts with the visiting team's media. So if we are broadcasting a Roseville game, you might see us on CCTV, among other places. On Thursday, you'll see John Miller, as we will be here for White Bear Lake Anoka in football, and a number of other broadcasts that, if we get a chance, we'll take a look at those when we get to. We will have a very busy fall schedule lined up. Chance here now for the Bears. Nice play by Eckerly, trying to move the ball in further. Getting to it is Showborough. Showborough. Pass looking for anybody, but it's cleared out of harm's way by Graybell. Four comes back in. Anderson, oh, nice kick there. Trying to move it further along as they'll tie up. Nice 50-50 defense either way. Racine, both 22s being worn by an Anna tonight as Racine has it taken away off the nice defensive work there of Stockness on the near side. Ball cleared. It goes back out now. Here's a chance for Audrey. The goal scorer for Matamira. Pass there and a miscommunication as both Sexton and Audrey Berry were in the area, but the ball goes out of bounds. Schoberl's throwing. Knocked into the air. Can be played further along now as Wadsberger tries to play. All the way back through. Center of the defensive back line. Hankey. Into the middle. They'll cut it back, looking to reset. Will the Zephyrs. It's Hillstrom. Further along now, and a chance here for Matamira. Pass looking for Audrey Berry. Is taken by Carroll and cleared out back through center. Zephyrs are first to it. This can be gotten further along now. They'll try to move it back on the White Bear defensive line. Unable to do so, though. As Turnus can send it further, we'll have a whistle, and it'll be a free kick up coming here for White Bear Lake. Free kick for White Bear Lake. Eckerly will take it for the Bears. And now that the sun has set, it is getting a little chilly here at White Bear Stadium. School starts seven days from now for many of these students. Chance in a first new school, North Campus, South Campus. Ball sent well over everybody. It'll be another goal kick up coming for Matamida. Their fourth here in the second half. And wholesale large substitutions for Bears being replaced. Two Zephyrs. As the benches will continue to roll, two of the deepest teams in the state talent-wise. As Broughton will take the free the goal kick rather. Broughton's kick. Right up the gut. Be taken there 
Heckman. Heckman after turn, it's a nice play. Turn is trying to move it around. This goes all the way back. As Heckman gets it again. Heckman evades the pressure, trying to keep the ball on the attacking half. Can be gotten to here now a chance. Sexton. Ball further along. Nice challenge made by Burkett to send the ball back onto the attacking half. Further along, Anderson. Anderson. Working her way in, a shot made, save by Liz, Liz away. And the senior goaltender, wearing blue, will send the ball back out through to center. Carroll for White Bear Lake, intercepts it and will carry it into the attacking half. Cutting back, Sule. Back again for Eckerley. As he'll play back onto the far side once again. Well, onto the far side, out of bounds. The ball just a little bit out of the reach of Charlie Adam. We'll have another whistle, another stoppage with more substitutions almost halfway through this second half of play. One to one, your score. Audrey Barry, the goal scorer for Manamira at the 18th minute. Kayla Anderson, the goal scorer for White Bear Lake at the 48th minute. As Manamira looking to proceed into the attacking half. Here's Audrey Barry. Barry, long stretch ball, looking here on the near side for Wadsberger. Wadsberger has it knocked out of bounds by the defensive back check of Carroll. Can be carried in though here by Padelford. Padelford threw the ball in. White Bear Lake trying to sneak it out, back the other way. Padelford has it intercepted there by Carroll as she'll send it back out. That's not Carroll, rather. Padelford's throw it. You hear some of the comments. As Burkett taken down, we'll have a whistle. There'll be a free kick up coming here for White Bear Lake. And so Carroll will take the free kick from her own defensive third of the field. One of the seniors, many seniors on this White Bear Lake girls varsity soccer club. Lots of experience. They earned the number one seed in the section four double-A playoffs last year. Can't quite remember. I know that they lost in the semifinal round. I can't quite remember who to them. So we'll have a chance here now where White Bear Lake will get a free kick. Eckerley will take it for the Bears. Eckerley with some options to the left. I believe the ball has to move forward. Again, my knowledge of soccer rules is not what it used to be. But again, I am trying. I ask you to find my ignorance charming. Eckerley. Long ball, looking for Anderson. Lizaway able to get to it, though, as it bounced once as they were looking for Anderson. And Lizaway able to play it. Lizaway, right foot a kick. Heckman able to play it further. Ball can be taken back where Manamirai will look to work with it on their own side of the field. Tie ball. And it go out of bounds. It'll be a throw up coming here for, looks like White Bear Lake, as Eckerley will get the throw on the far side. Here's Eckerley. The throw in. Into the air, off of a foot. It'll go over the goal line. Should have. A goal kick coming with some substitutions too coming on for Matamita. And again, already the fifth goal kick for the Zephyrs. So the Bears have had their chances here in this second half of play. And the only one to have gone in is that Anderson 48th minute goal. Meanwhile, a couple of goal kicks for Matamita, only two. They also, however, lead the advantage in corners three to two over the course of the game. Carroll for Anderson. Anderson trying to spin around some pressure. So we've gotten further here now. We're about to beat. I will look to move back the other way. Wadsberger has the ball intercepted. A pass a little bit too strong, though, as Schober will try to play further. Heckman will send the ball all the way back into the defensive half for Fettinger. Fettinger will cut back. So here's Heckman. Schoberl. Schoberl. As the ball goes. Out of bounds, off the foot of Broughton. And it goes back out of bounds once again. 
Schober will, will get the throw in here. Schober will throw in into the air. That's a tie up can occur there. Getting it back further along now. A long distance shot goes wide. Another goal kick up coming here for Monomira. As Broughton will take another one. It feels as though, and again, we don't have the official statistic, it feels as though it has been quite some time since there's been a shot on goal for Matamirai, where after dominating much of the first half, it feels as though White Bear Lake has responded here. And of course, the Zephyrs, back-to-back -back state champions, can certainly never be counted out and really can never be truly out of a game with the talent that they have on their roster. This ball is taken onto the far side. Further in now, here's Heckman. Heckman. Trying to move it along here. As it goes here under the near side, another throw and upcoming. Showborough will do the throwing for White Bear Lake. Showborough for Eckerley. Eckerley, a nice challenge there made by Wattsberger, but Eckerley able to avoid. Long stretch pass intercepted nicely there by Padelford. Anderson fighting for the ball with Broughton. This ball now right on the near end line. Try to keep it in. Goes further now. Showbro. Showbro trying to put it back in front. Unable to do so. Good pressure by White Bear Lake now. Sackman. We'll move it back to the defense. Can be played further now as Fenninger will send it back into the attacking half. Ball will go over that goal line. And we will have another goal kick for Maramira. I was doing some research for this game before it started today. And I found something that was interesting. In an article on Minnesota Soccer Hub that was written by some of the name by Lauren Nelson of the Minnesota Sports Hubs. And it was interesting to me as he as they write. Matamita, of course, started this season. Ranked number one in the class 1A coaches preseason poll. The Zephyrs returned standout goalkeeper Megan Lizaway and high scoring midfielder Audrey Sexton, both seniors. Lizaway and Sexton were coaches associating Class 1 All-State selections. Sexton also made the All-Tournament team last fall. Now, there was a stat that I found interesting that I just can't remember where it was. Oh, there it is, yes. It says here, the Zephyr's dominance is indisputable. Last year's Class 1A title was Matamirai's second straight and a state best eighth overall in 14 appearances. Now, when you're winning slightly over 50% of the state tournaments that you qualify for, that's a record for success. We'll have a whistle here. We should have it thrown on that far side. We'll wait to see what it is. There's a throw in here. Matamirai will take over. Ball back in. Can be taken further now as the Bears will try to rush back the other way. Here's Eckerley. Long pass for Anderson. Anderson, who has some space to the defense. Anderson, right footed shot. Nice save, Lizaway. Goes off of one of the Zephyrs and will have a corner kick. That was a real nice rush for White Bear Lake. But Lizaway showing why she's all conference and all state with a series of good saves from Anamidai. We'll take another look here again. Anderson, you see, nice save by Lizaway to get down. And even better. The defense there for Matamirai as McCleary was able to get the ball and knock it out, forcing a corner, sure, but taking away that high scoring chance opportunity. And for White Bear Lake, this will be corner kick number four. Both teams unsuccessful in corners. Right foot a kick in. Try to go back to Showbro. The ball goes back in further along now. They'll try to clear it. Chance for seen. They'll try to move it along now. Oh, a nice kick from Schobro. An excellent block by the defense of, I want to get the name right, I believe. That was, I believe that was McClear who made that block save. Now a chance here for Matamirai. We'll see if that rallies them. On the far wing, Hillstrom. Hillstrom 
Cutting it back, right footed kick. Looking for the back post, goes over the goal line. And a goal kick upcoming here for White Bear Lake. Sometimes it's the simplest of plays that allows a team to rally. And it looked like the Zephyrs had a rally, or a bit of one anyway, going there. But excellent job by the defense of White Bear Lake to push that one away. So Janicki's right footed goal kick. We intercepted, knocked out of bounds off the foot of McCleary there. Could be played further along. Schobrill looking here for Racine. Back for Schobrill. Lofting ball into the air. Racine trying to play it, but it goes out of bounds. Racine will throw it in, trying to catch the Zephyrs napping. Ball will go out right along that goal line. Nice play by Anderson to hold it in. Racine centering pass in front. Nice defense by Matamirai, though, as they'll clear it back out into the middle of the field. Carroll pinching down, will send it in further. Lizaway will have to go to get it. Instead, she'll watch it go over the goal line. And a chance now for another goal kick for the Matamirai Zephyrs, as they'll have a couple of substitutions, two exactly, who will come in. Inside, 11 minutes to go. In regulation, Matamirai won, White Bear Lake won. It was the sophomore Audrey Berry who scored off of a rebound. Real nice play, too, in the 18th minute. That was some really good passing down and low on the, after the initial shot. And then it was Kayla Anderson who had kind of a change of goal that evened it up at the 48th minute. Now a chance here, though, for Matamina. Nice slide tackle by Burkett. Burkett will push it out of bounds and give the Bears a chance to reset defensively. Ball taken here now by McCormick, looking for Wagner. Tying up, we will get a whistle, and that'll be White Bear Lake ball. The ball further ahead now, McCormick. Looking for Wagner as it gets behind Carroll. Carroll, as the header go out of bounds, should be a throw in coming here for Monomirai. And it won't be, it will be a White Bear Lake throw in. No, a free kick. <laughs> 0 for 3, guys. 0 for 3. And so Carroll will await the set up. We have a stoppage. And the head coach of Matamirai looking for an explanation, as that's Dave Wald, who again has guided these efforts to back to back state tournament championships. And that state tournament played at U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. So we'll wait the whistle to resume. As Madison Carroll, the senior, sings the anthem sometimes at White Bear Lake hockey games, boys hockey games. Does an excellent job usually, most time. Never heard her do a bad job, I guess, from the PA announcer box as the ball goes out of bounds off of the foot there. Ackerley. As the ball goes back into the center of the field. Heinch. Chance for Wagner, but she oh, had to rush to get to it before the ball went out of bounds. And a goal kick up coming for White Bear Lake. So we have the goal kick up coming here, Janicki. The right footed kick, aiming for the sideline. Go out of bounds. It'll be a throw up coming here for Monomena. So here's McCormick. Then further for Sexton, trying to center back in front. Chance now. Oh, a nice couple of steps there. Shot on goal, doesn't hit. And the ball there off the foot of Wagner goes to the far sideline. It's held in, though, by Matamirai. There's a rush now. Working back in, snuffed out, and there'll be a corner kick opportunity upcoming here for Matamirai, their third of the second half. It'll be Sexton to take the corner. We'll see how they choose to work the set piece. Last time they did kind of a touch pass on the corner. Now the cross. No intended receiver there. As the defensive Racine will pinch down, or the offense rather. Passes Broughton, will have it go back through neutral. Racine with a little bit of a push there that 
Let's go. Anderson. Anderson trying to work her way in. Nice defense there by Jolie Berry as the ball goes out of bounds and a throw in coming here for White Bear Lake. Inside the eight minute mark of time remaining. The 71st, no, 72nd minute. Has the ball thrown in. It'll bounce into the air. Knocked further along. <laughs> Can be gotten back. Eckerly. Eckerly shot on off over the top of Lizawa, and it will be another goal kick up coming here. And really for the White Bear Lake. After only four in the first half, already at nine here in this second half. As Broughton lines up the right foot, a kick. We're going to the center. Carroll will send it further along, looking for Racine. Racine able to get it right on the line. Racine deeks out the defense. Trying to center in front. Nice save by Lizaway. Great job reading that play and getting that ball. For the senior for Matamirai. Certainly showing the experience in that and the awareness to read the play. Ball goes out of bounds. Will be a throw in here upcoming for White Bear Lake as Blair will play it on the far side. Blair over there, pretty much everybody. Anderson trying to race to it. Get some assistance though, a chance and another save by Lizaway. Standing tall to make that save. Lizaway, right footed kick. Waiting for something to happen. Push there, and there will be a call. A Sexton with the push. We'll have a whistle and a stoppage. And that will be a yellow card. The first booking for Audrey Sexton. The first booking for either team tonight. And that yellow card will come at the 74th minute of play. The first time, I think, in all the years that I've been calling games, too, that I've seen a yellow card used, or any sort of a card. Maybe I just haven't been seeing enough soccer. Has a free kick here for White Bear Lake. Ackerley looking in front. Racine collides with Lizaway. As the ball was looking for a redirection and her tip play in front. As the ball will go out. It'll be a goal kick here for... Mata meet either 10th of the second half. Compared to only four goal kicks for White Bear Lake so far. Corners throughout the game, four to three in favor of Mata Mita. Here's Sexton, I'm sorry, not Sexton, Broughton. Knocked in the air, played further, there's Sexton. Heinz trying to go onto the far side. Trying to cut back, Wadsberger. Hansberger, a run by Eckerle. Nice one at that. Watches it go on the far side. And they were looking for Tyval on that far side. There'll be a throw coming here for White Bear Lake inside of five minutes remaining. Eckerle's throwing. Looking for Anderson off the back part of the foot. Oh, a good chance in front, snuffed out by the Zephyrs. Chance is the ball back in front. Racine. Now, Turnus. This ball goes back. Uncharacteristic defensive struggle. Score! Anderson again. Two to one, White Bear Lake. Well, uncharacteristic defensive struggles for the Zephyrs is exactly right. They just unable to clear that ball out of the zone, and Anderson with her sixth goal of the season, was just able to lift that one over pretty much everybody. And for the Matamidai Zephyrs, a defensively stout team. That's not a goal that you're used to seeing them score. But Anderson gets a goal, her sixth of this season at the 75th minute. And that gives the Bears the 2-1 to -one lead over the number one ranked Matamidai Zephyrs. It's further along now. The Zephyrs looking to draw even and force overtime. 
Goes off of the foot there of Wagner. Will be a throw in coming here for White Bear Lake. The throw. It'll be another ball here that'll be kept in possession of Matamidai. Throw in looking for Wagner. Wagner trying to clear back in front. Janicki will come out of the back line to play it. Janicki's kick really far. High in the air. Goes all the way back to the back line. Anderson trying to get to it, but instead we'll watch it go out of bounds. It'll be another goal kick here for White Bear Lake. Corner kick. It will be a corner kick. Thanks, Kirk. And that'll be for White Bear Lake, their third corner of this half. Again, with the running time, no reason to rush to the ball by any means. It's going to the corner to take it. I believe that is a senior, de senior defender. No, I'm right that wrong. I'm sorry. Senior midfielder, Bella Heckman. Heckman, the left footed kick, slow. As the Zephyrs will take it, and they'll try to rush back out. Here's Wagner. Wagner, long pass, looking for Heinch. Heinch, the leading goal scorer for the Matamidai Zephyrs a season ago. Looking to draw even. Here's Racine as the ball goes out of bounds. Throw in here for White Bear Lake. Racine will let Schober will take the throw in here. Two minutes and change remaining. Ball goes off of the head of McCormick as the Bears try to advance further along. Schober will throw it, looking for Anderson. Anderson with both goals tonight will send it out. This will be a goal kick here for Matamidai. Two and a half and counting. Broughton will line up the kick, trying to usher the Zephyrs further down the field. Into the air. Ball intercepted. Carroll has Eckerle send it further in. As it's onto the far side now, and a chance for Charlie Adam. Adam will try to cut back, goes off of these efforts. They are able to hold the line. And wouldn't you know it, another goal kick goal coming kick here for Matamidai. The 12th goal kick of the second half for the Zephyrs. Here's Broughton, line drive kick. Wind has subsided, so it gains some distance, goes out of bounds. It'll be a throw in here for White Bear Lake. It's a throw in on the far sideline. Looking for Adam on the throw. Another ball out of bounds off the throw of Fettinger. Another chance now here as Matamidai will get it. But the clock continuing to wind inside a minute and a half remaining. Right foot a kick. As it goes back. Under that far side. Broughton. Have it go out of bounds again. Another throw up coming here for Tyvall. To the center of the pitch, Sexton with the yellow card. The only card issued tonight. This ball sent out of bounds by Birkin. And inside a minute to go here on the throw in. Wadsberger. Wadsberger. Sexton ties up with the defense. Trying to push around Fettinger. We have a whistle. It'll be a Matamidai ball. On the free kick, clock continues to wind. And the Zephyrs will have a free kick opportunity here on that far sideline. They'll try to send it back in front. And great, nice couple of spin moves there by Sexton. Sexton, nice defensive play on the back line by Schoberl. Chance to go. Wagner, shot, save. Janicki inside 30 seconds. No look spin pass, and Janicki able to make the save for the Bears. High into the air on the clearing attempt. Goes over midfield. It'll be a throw up coming here from Matamidai. Ten seconds remaining. The throw in off the foot of Schoberl. Carroll sends it further. So it goes back the other way now by Pedelford. Out of bounds, out of play, out of time. And the 10th ranked Bears upset the number one ranked Matamidai Zephyrs tonight by a final of two to one to repeat the scoring zone. The Matamidai Zephyrs scored first. 
when it was Audrey Berry who scored in the 18th minute off the initial shot. There was somebody down in low. Lauren Hines was able to feed the ball right back in front as Berry was able to finish that off for the early goal. Then in the second half, it was all Bears throughout the second half. Kayla Anderson got her fifth goal of the season at the 48th minute, and then she was able to do so again at the 75th minute after the chaos in front. What a way to start the 2019-2020 school sports year. We'll be back for football as the Anoka Tornadoes will face off against the White Bear Lake Bears coming up here on Thursday. Now from all of us here, Matt Suburban Community Channels, SCC, we want to thank you for watching tonight's game. This is your home for Matamira and White Bear Lake girls soccer, SCC Sports. Thank you and good night.